hey guys so welcome back to another tutorial and today i'm going to show you how you can install wordpress manually on a cpanel hosting okay so the first thing you have to do is to go to log into your cpanel and to do so what you have to do is um, go to your domain name and add this 2083 okay and then press enter so this will redirect you to the cpanel login page here enter your credentials and then click on login so now you will successfully log into your cpanel account from here what you have to do is go to file manager so i will open it in a new tab just right click on it and open it in a new tab and similarly scroll down and in the database section um, select this mysql database right click open in a new tab okay and then now let's download the wordpress package and to do so go to wordpress.org all the links will be in the description for your convenience so you can uh, from here click on this option get wordpress and then click on this download so you can see here the download has started and it's a very small file so it will just take a few seconds for the download process to complete okay so you can see the download process is complete and now let's go to the file manager here you will see um, if you have just one website on your domain so what you have to do is go to this folder public html okay you can see there is already a wordpress website which i have shown you in the beginning so just for the demo purpose i am going to install this in a demo folder okay so i have created this demo subdomain uh, you can just skip this step and just go to this public html folder and do the same process okay so from here what you have to do is uh, click on upload and then drag and drop this file here and it will take a few seconds to upload this file okay so once the file is uh, the upload is complete and it reaches 100 percent click on this option go back to the file manager and here just reload it okay so when you will reload it is basically like refreshing your desktop or pc you will see this um, file here then select this file right click and then click on extract so now we will extract the content of this zip file and you will see this everything has been extracted and then close this okay now we will delete this file here because we do not need the zip file anymore so now it has been um, installed to this folder WordPress. okay so now what you have to do is um, go to your website so this is my website i will just copy the link from here and paste it here okay. so here you will see the screen um, select the language click on continue and then um, click on let's go so now we need to create database for our website where all the information related to uh, this website will be stored so now let's go to this tab which we opened earlier so now we will create a username and database um, so first um, open here just type a random name here like demo one just make this name random so that will make your website more secure then click on create database now copy this and paste it here database name and then again go back click on go back here now we will create a user scroll down and here uh, add new user option again create demo user one then click on password generator and click on advanced option make this password as lengthy as possible so 18 digit uh, 18 length then click on generate password and copy this 
and now save it in a notepad or something then uh, click on this option i have copied this password and now save place then click on use password now click on create user so first i will go back to the setup and in password i will uh, just paste the password which i just created and then create this user and paste it here then click on go back now we will connect both the database and user to each other so you can see here by default both are visible here then click on add now grant all privileges click on make changes and you will see a success message that uh, the changes has been done now go back here to the wordpress setup and then click on submit okay you can see that the this installation is successful now let's run the installation okay now we have to create uh, this provide this basic information for our website so here put your website name like my demo cpanel website you can edit this or uh, any um, any time now create a username um, it can be your name for example we'll create admin demo then generate a password and again copy this password and save it in a safe place and then here enter your email id for example my email id is guides at the rate gmail.com and then click on install wordpress so if you are using a password manager you can save the password um, we'll just now log in username as admin demo and then this is the password i just created if you can remember me log in and that's it guys so the login is successful and we have installed wordpress on cpanel manually so that's it for this tutorial now with cpanel there are a lot of other functions available for example creating your own personal email like here so if you want to learn how to create your professional business email with cpanel you can watch my other tutorial and uh, if you want to learn more about cpanel i have a series about cpanel tutorials so you can watch them also i will put a link in the description and they should be visible on your screen right now also so that's it guys for this video and i will see you in the next video